Yeah, Ben and Jen, 14 days of testimony and three days of jury deliberations came to an end today as a jury determined Alex Jones should pay $965 million in damages to Sandy Hook families and an FBI agent outside the Waterbury Courthouse. Emotions po poured following this verdict. After years, years of fear, threats, harassment, after realizing that Alex Jones's cruelty and greed knew no bounds, they decided to take a stand. Weeks of testimony in Waterbury Superior Court in the defamation trial against Alex Jones has come to an end, and the verdict unprecedented. A jury ruled Jones be ordered to pay nearly a billion dollars in damages to eight Sandy Hook families and an FBI agent suing Jones for defamation and emotional distress. Some of them spoke after the verdict was read, including Robbie Parker, who lost his six-year-old daughter Emily in the 2012 shooting. All I can really say is that I'm just proud that what we were able to accomplish was just to simply tell the truth. Erica Lafferty's mom, Dawn Lafferty Hawksprung, was the school's principal. I wish that after today I could just be a daughter grieving my mother. After almost a decade of threats and messages from conspiracy theorists led by Jones, this is a moment years in the making. Alex Jones's attorney, Norm Pattis, said the verdict was more than they expected and they look forward to appealing it. He calls it a dark day for freedom of speech. Uh, candidly, from start to finish, the fix was in, in this case. In more than 200 trials in the course of my career, I've never seen a trial like this. It was a trial bringing many witnesses to the stand, including Jones himself. Those impacted shared how Jones's lies and the response from his supporters since has taken a toll on their lives. The family say Wednesday's verdict shows actions have consequences and that the truth matters. This jury has taken back for all of us something we've been uh, hemorrhaging over the last decades, which is core decency and humanity. When it comes to payout, the attorney for the plaintiff says that they will enforce that, whether it be in a state court or a bankruptcy court. Jones's media company, Free Speech Systems, also named in the lawsuit, filed for bankruptcy in July. The judge, in this case, will next consider punitive damages, which would go on top of the jury's verdict today. The attorneys say whatever available assets Joan has, they will work to ensure that the Sandy Hook families have access to them. In the newsroom, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.